Hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome back. Coffee and Conversations is back. Come in, get cozy. We've had lots of episodes released uh, since we all got together last. We've covered everything from faith to well-being in the workplace to navigating cancer, um, all the way to the government telling us what to eat. There's been lots and lots of conversations happening around here since we've all gotten together last, so I'd love for you to check them out. And we've had some good conversations going on here behind the scenes at HTC as well. And I'm not going to talk about them without Leanne. So I'm going to get her on this call and we'll get started. So good morning, everyone coming in. I'll do my best to try to say hello to everyone. So. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. I missed you. <laughs> I know I missed you too. I'm so grateful to be doing this again. Hey, Molly, you made it. I need it. So I know we've got a lot to, to get started and try to walk through in the next little bit. So let's start on a high note. What's your peak of the week? This one was the easiest peak of the week. I know you already know it. I <laughs> found my dress. So And it is like delicious. beyond, Thank beyond. You. It's and, so good. And it's so funny because I was looking back at pictures. I went to uh, the same place, Bridal Boutique, that I went to the first time back in November. I tried that same dress on, and it just – didn't sink in. And then when I tried it back on, on Monday, I was like, oh my God, this is <laughs> this it. This feels right. This is it. I, so, <laughs> I, um, that's so awesome. I, it made things very real. So that's very exciting. And it's right, yeah. stressful. <laughs> is it? That's what I was going to say. Is it more exciting? Is it stress? Good combination of both? Yeah, it's more exciting for sure. I just, I remember starting this new year off and waking up and being like, Ooh, like I'm not just planning a wedding this year. Like it has to be planned by October. It's this year. Yes. Yeah. Like it has to be done. And I'm just like, okay, okay. You got 10 months. And I'm like, oh, well you got nine now. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stressing yourself out month yeah. after month. That's so yeah. funny. Well, I was uh, talking to Molly yesterday and she's like, we're going to blink and it's going to be summer. And I was like, ah! so true. <laughs> it's so true. But this was very much an exciting and, um, very positive experience and I got to do it with my mom and, and it was, it was perfect. So it was yeah. a really good day. That was almost my peak of the week. <laughs> I was like, uh, I was sitting there. Well, I was just so excited for you because I know that you've been like going back and forth and, and to just see you have that done and, and to see you in it is just like beyond. So I, it was really exciting for me too, as your friend. Um, I was sitting there last night kind of getting ready for today and thinking about, okay, like what is my peak of the week? I feel like mm -hmm. things are really good right now. There's lots of good, things happening and I was just trying to narrow it down and I just I really couldn't come up with one I put ridiculous pressure on something that's supposed to be super easy surprise surprise is that right? our life <laughs> is that our life uh, um, but last night at dinner we were we were eating and one of the sides was beans and you know I have three kids not everybody wants that stuff right and so one of them was struggling and without fail um the twins were like Alexa, play blah, 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 blah. And this whole song about eating beans came on. And I have <laughs> never laughed so hard in my entire life. Like they were standing up on like their chairs. They were just like so into oh it. They were having the best time. And me and Sai just kind of looked at each other. And we're like, what is happening? And it just was such joy because I'm like, they're just the life of the party. They will find a way to make it fun. And it was just, that, that was a highlight for me as a mom last That's night. Adorable. So. <laughs> No, Siri can do some, or Alexa, sorry, can do some hilarious stuff. I was at my client's house last week, and her dog farted, and it was the most disgusting. <laughs> it was so disgusting. And then um, she has a son, so she was like, oh, I have to show you what my son discovered. So she goes, Alexa, fart. And she just goes, Pfft. and she's, yeah. like, she's like, ooh, that was a good one. I was like, <laughs> Like, yeah, my kids you? found that out over Christmas break, too. And so it's like, and we've got them through the house, and it's just not enjoyable when you're trying to actually do things. She, she, she's like, would you like to hear another one? And she's so polite. I'm just like, this, this is great. This is why I like technology. <laughs> right? That's, that's one of the positives. So yeah. that's yeah. so funny. <laughs> well, I know we're talking about goals today. And last year, we, we kind of started with a word that really set us up to kind of lean back onto or fall into when we got off course from our goals and mm -hmm. full disclosure before we get into everything, I listened back to our episode and I am mortified with myself. 
<laughs> I was like, oh, didn't do that one. Didn't do that one. Oh, I forgot. That was me too. I was like, well, you're full of shit. So, so I'm excited to kind of talk through the stuff that we did accomplish and what we didn't accomplish. But I can say that the word that I chose last year was purpose and yours was evolve. Yeah. Um, I really do feel like I fell into my word and I wanted to know if you felt the same and how your word kind of helped you through last year. Yeah, totally. I mean, we've had discussions just between you and me about how last year was, was just go, go, go. And yeah, seeing kind of like what we can create, how much we can create and where this can go. And we really, like we joked yesterday when we were recording with Eric about how we kept talking about burnout over and over and like it just kept coming up as the top of this the discuss, discussion and I definitely feel like yeah that's not sustainable but with my word being involved like I felt like I found the amount of work and energy I can put into something I I saw it go places with you and I maintained my clients like 2020, everyone fell off 2021. It was back to my normal schedule. And I was like, I don't know yeah. if I can do both. Like, let's see. And we had 54 episodes, like you told me. And, and, you know, I maintained my work schedule and, and we had a blast doing it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not sustainable. It wasn't sustainable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I do feel like, I mean, I read, I, I looked back, I kept telling myself, oh my God, I have to read 18 books this year my goal was 16 <laughs> and I read 19 like I was so annoyed with myself so like I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and I think isn't it funny how we do that me, yeah yeah well and I always tend to lean in that direction but evolve for me was about that just kind of pushing my limits and seeing where I could go and I really feel like even though I didn't accomplish all of the very specific goals this year. I definitely feel like I stuck to that word and, and, or sorry, last year. And, uh, I'm really proud of myself. So you should be, you Thanks, should be you accomplished a lot. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So do you have a word going into this year? Well, wait, are you going to talk about your last year or are we going to do? I mean, we can, I, it's like... <laughs> I want to purpose. Well, well, your... for me, for me, it was purpose. And I, I, the year before that, I, I, my word was bold. And so I really tried to start putting myself out there. And then last year was really about like, why do I want to do this? What is my reasoning for, for wanting to have these conversations and for wanting to put art into the world and, and across all the various things that I do. And, um, with, with Chad's help, I think he really helped me figure out who Calla was and what I was here to do. And, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I know without a doubt, I'm here to create things, to connect with people and to protect the things and causes that are important to me. I have no doubt about that anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and I feel like last year I really was able to lean into that and it was uncomfortable and it was itchy yeah. <laughs> and, it, and I didn't like it a lot of the time. Crunchy. It was crunchy, you know, it was, it was those things. And, and just knowing that despite that and walking through them and, and finding um, different tools and different therapies and just all sorts of just being open, I guess, to the process of figuring out what I needed to be my best self. Um, I feel like I really was able to lean into that and it's putting me on a good path for for this year. Yeah, so I feel yeah. good. Woo! Knock on wood. I'm like trying not to jinx myself, <laughs> I know. but but I, I feel know. good so far. I feel yeah. good so far. So we can check I don't know. That off the list. I feel like we stuck to our words pretty well. But um, yeah, we did. There's a lot we didn't do. <laughs> was there stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so if you guys have, I'm not seeing a lot of the dialogue on mine today. So I apologize if I'm ignoring anybody. I'm not trying to. I don't see um, either. Okay, cool. So if you guys do have words that you use, um to kind of lean back on into the year, like drop them in. I want to, I want to see what yeah. everybody's kind of working towards or, or where their mind's at. Um, when, when we talked about doing goals again and, and going through our sheet, well, let's, let's explain the sheet first of all, I guess, because you're the one who kind of really brought this to HTC last year. And it was so cool to walk through because you have a client that um, you, you go through this process with in your, in your personal life and professional life. So yeah. bringing it here and doing it for HTC, um, last year was really cool because I had never walked through it before. You kind and of helped me navigate either. that. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought you had done it, no, it was my years first prior. Year. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So 
now knowing that we have all these different categories that we tried and we were very specific and we didn't hit everything, um, looking back at it this year, I, I'm approaching it a little bit differently. And I don't know if you are too. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to navigate that. But for me, my word this year, and I'm just going to jump into it is intentional or intention. Everything I need to do has to be intentional. Otherwise I'm not going to get anything done. Um, and I know that. And so when I was laying out my goals this year in, in the various categories, um, I was very loose. Yeah. <laughs> I was very loose with what I wanted to accomplish because, um, well, we'll get into it. But what, what's your what's your word for this year? I want to so start with that. Before I get into my word, I want to say Jackie was saying that she hadn't thought about assigning a word to your year. And that was your idea. You said you you started doing that, right? That wasn't part of Bill's. Um, no, bullshit. no, I've just done that for the last several years and I kind of just keep it in front of me to just remind myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm not able to see anybody's stuff. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll read yeah. it out. So she said the, her word for the last two years is survive. <laughs> I feel like Preach. Everyone, everyone can relate, I think, to that. Um, yeah, literally and figuratively with, you know, COVID going Yeah. On. I'd love to know what you're finding works for your survival. I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, cause it's been interesting. My, uh, so my word this year, um, is enjoy with emphasis on joy. Like I underlined the joy part. Um, I think I being a trainer, like I focus a lot on goals and, and leveling up to your next, you know, yeah. what, how can we get healthier? How can we get more, you know, learn more information about health and nutrition. And a lot of my clients are goal focused. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself to level up, level up, level up, level up. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, my last year's word was evolve and that's exactly what I was doing. And I feel great when I'm doing that. I feel productive, but sometimes you can get obsessed with, am I improving? Am I learning? And you miss out on like the joys of life. Like it, yeah. The pressure really sucks them out of you. And so with the wedding planning and just, you know, we're, we're going to try and start a family in the next couple of years. Like I want to enjoy this time where it's me and Clayton and, you know, we're not divided in a ton of different directions. And, um, I want to look back on these years and be like, wow, I really like lived those and enjoyed them. Yes. I didn't just like try to power through them. Um, and I want wedding planning to, it, it is overwhelming at times, but I want it to, I want to enjoy it along the way. Yeah, it needs to be a joyous occasion for yeah. sure. You want to look and, back at it with good memories, not the yeah. stress. And, oh, well, I never want to do that again. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And um, Erica, we're going to have her on the podcast. I, um, she, her episode airs January 31st. Erica White, Weiderlight, Weiderlight, I, I never know. Weiderlight, yeah. It is, okay. Yeah. Um, she, so she's a relationship and love and sex coach and so she talks a lot about pleasure and finding pleasure in everything you do in life like when she came to the podcast she was like wearing her leopard shirt and like <laughs> had her cup of what like tea and she did her breath work and stuff like I think that kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm trying to do like I want to enjoy my commute on the way to work and really be present yeah. with my clients and find something I enjoy like with each part of my day um, and I think I'll just it'll bring a lot of fulfillment. I, yeah, <laughs> it will. Yeah. It will without a doubt. It will yeah. without a doubt. I know. I think that my main goal this year, um, I know we'll go into kind of the categories, but the first one up is, is family relationship, spiritual and emotional. And I feel like, whoo, what a journey that's been for me, you know, yeah. my whole life essentially, but really the last three years, it's kind of been revving up for me. Um, I'm not going to go in and disclose because it's come up in a lot of our conversations that have been released and will continue to be released. But I've been battling grief for a very long time and towards um, October, November of last year, I had some health issues come up that I really needed to address. And um, so with those in, in getting help for that stuff this year, truthfully across the board is, is my health. Um, that, that's yeah. all I'm worried about. Yeah. I just want to be healthy and be present. Like you said, and, and that's enough for me this year. Mm -hmm. I'm setting the bar real low. There's not an amount of books that I need to read. There's not, you know, all these things There's things I want to do. There's things I'm working towards, but it is definitely not going to be 
oh gosh, I've got 16 books in, but my goal was 18. So now I'm going to read 20. I can't yeah. operate at that pace yeah, anymore, yeah. you know? Same. So, um, and, and that poured into kind of what you alluded to with HTC, you know, we, we did, we went balls to the wall last year and it was so fun and it was so enjoyable. And through that, we were really able to, I think you said um, yesterday when we were talking to Eric that we know what our threshold is. We know what yeah. we're capable of. We know what we can do, but it doesn't mean that we need to hit that all the time. Right. Um, and, and so, yeah, I'm all over the place this morning. I feel like I'm trying to, trying to rein it in, but uh, no. I, I just, I want, people to know that this year we're it's going to be peaceful it's going to be intentional it's going to be meaningful and the conversations are still going to happen it's just not going to be blown out rapid speed all the time <laughs> yeah. yeah because yeah. we got to live and i want other people to live and i really want people to to be able to digest and take in these conversations because they're so amazing mm -hmm. and they're so fun yeah so Jackie says, intentional is a good word. It's one that popped into my head immediately. We could all always be more intentional. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And so what does that mean, like, for you, though? Like, for me, it's, like, did I work out? Did our movement, not even just necessarily, like, hard working out. Like, did I move today <laughs> or this week? Like, what does that look like? How are my food choices? Mm -hmm. How is my spiritual health? How is my marriage? Am I spending time with my kids or am I just trying to get to it? You know, yeah. am, am I enjoying my conversations with my parents or am I doing it out of, you know, checking a box? Mm -hmm. All these things I'm really trying to just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, be, be present in. And it's very difficult work, but I really feel like, like we're on to something here. Yeah. It's difficult <laughs> you know, because it changes daily. It's like, yeah, if you have these goals of like, I want to work out five times a week, a week, like. I had COVID two weeks ago, like that, then in theory, my goals are out the window, but it's, it's like, shot. Yeah. Before you even start. Yeah. It's like even being intentional about like, what is the movement? Does it serve me? Like, is this helpful even, or yes. is it just because I told myself I would do this and I'm, people are holding me accountable that I'm just going to follow through with it, even though everything in my gut and my body is telling me like, maybe take the day off, you know, or maybe take a bath. Like, don't yeah. go for that run. Like, it, it's that's I think to me what being intentional is is like really listening to what what does my mind and my body need today and that's going to be different every single day and, and trying to honor that is really you have to be patient I think and you mm -hmm. have to be kind of humble like my my mind wants totally to be humble so, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my mind is like bitch you said 18 books and I didn't even say that. <laughs> like, my brain lies, guys. But, it's um, it's so true. It's yeah. so so true. So, what are kind of? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, do you want to get into like the themes, the goal, like the themes? Yeah. The goals each yeah. Time? Why don't you take it and we can walk through it? Yeah. Okay. Um. So you touched on it a little bit, but the first one's family relationship, spiritual and emotional. Mm -hmm. Um. Last year. My goals were um, believing in myself more. I definitely think I worked on that, but that's, that's like a lifelong. <laughs> that's a journey, not a destination. <laughs> yeah, we were we were like high on that big magic energy too, because we had yeah. just read that book, so we yeah. were like amped and ready to go. Listening back to it, I said the word "excited" about nineteen thousand times. I was just <laughs> wanting to die listening to it back. I was like, oh my gosh, and I am excited, and I do love that so much. But it mm -hmm. was just like pump your brakes. <laughs> Well, and you had that, like, I think nervous energy. You were about to move, you know? Or yeah. You know, that's, just moved? Or... We were about to move. It was Did you like. that one from your mom's house? Um, I don't I know. Back, so I couldn't tell, but I think, because that's the one where Porter came into the room, and I think you were at your mom's house, like, getting ready to, like, move. It was, like, it was soon. Was so I think you had that, like unsettled energy too of like, yeah oh, just get this going <laughs> and, you know, yeah I feel like that's just starting to dissipate <laughs> from last year like it's just exhausted. like I, I yeah kind of you know I feel like the the break really over uh Christmas and New Year's really just was kind of like wow like I a year came and went and I totally forgot yeah, that we had been here a year already, and yeah. it seems like a blink of an eye that we were just doing this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the energy was was intense. But you said yours last year was to to really focus more away from like the perfection. I, I think yeah, is what I, I remember you I talking about. That. Yeah, that's also what this year's about because I did not. 
yeah, not striving to be perfect was my other uh, emotional goal, I guess. And um, I, I would say that I failed miserably on that, but I'm continuing now. I don't with, think so. I think with the <laughs> word being in joy, well, I don't know. Outwardly, I think I can mask it, but I know what's going on, like, in my mind. And I'm like, totally. oh, that's not ready. That's not ready. I keep working. <laughs> God, keep working. Right? Let it simmer a little bit longer. <laughs> My body's like, stop, please. <laughs> That's um, so true. I think with my word in the back of my head being in joy, like I tell myself that when I'm editing audio now, I'm like, are you enjoying this? And if I'm not, I'm going to step away. I'm yeah. Chill out. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to, you guys can hear a couple coughs here and there, a couple ums. It's we're all going to live. Okay, yeah. We're, we're going to live. Yeah. That's so yeah. true. Well, and um, so, so what were yours last year? So last year, um, I was really like, like I said, very unsettled. <laughs> we were getting ready to launch into a new thing. So a big thing for me was bringing my kids into kind of the planning process of our family and seeing not only what they were working on on the schedule with like their sports and the things that they like to do, but also letting them know like what Simon and I were working on yeah. and really bringing the whole family in to like our goal planning essentially. Yeah, you um, and, like a specific calendar or something you talked yeah, about? Yeah. Yeah. It's called the family playbook, I believe is what it was called. Um, or I don't know, but I'm still using it. We use it weekly. Yeah. I love it. It's been, it's been a game changer as far as, um, you know, letting everybody know what's going on mm -hmm. this year. It's more about the plans that we made for our family and really just getting to kind of sink into those moments. We're going to do some traveling this year that we've been planning for years and years and I've dreamed of to yeah. be able to do with my kids and it's going to happen this year. I'm so excited I'm so about excited. that. Um, I'm excited that they're making friends here. So we're starting to get more involved, you know, outside of our house and, and have those things. And I just want to be really present. And in that moment, um, I think in our meetings that we've had both with Chad and, and just conversations, you and I, uh, it's come up for me like I don't have like a lot of summers left with my kids. And so I just really want to be in it you know mm -hmm. this stuff can wait um everything can wait um mm -hmm. but but being there for them is really at the top of my goals and then too just investing our time into our relationships um are you okay yeah no my cat just <laughs> so you're like side-eyeing somebody um well, yeah, my cat's misbehaving. This is a big shocker. Sorry. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. No, no, no. I, I think this year it's just really investing into those relationships that um that are important to me and that's spiritually, mentally, physically, and, and within my own family and community. So I'm really excited to just kind of lean in and, and see where it takes me. Like I said, I don't have a checklist of this needs to happen in order yeah. for it to feel like I, I did a good job. I think it's just showing up and, and being there is going to more than serve me this year. I know that mm -hmm. more so than I have in other years, for sure. Yeah, so. I like that. It's a more yeah. like back approach, I feel like. I'm trying. I remember when I texted you like before Christmas, I was like, I just want to be chill this year. I just want to like, that's the version of myself that I like the most <laughs> when I can just show up and be and not be so neurotic. And I really <laughs> feel like I'm, I'm easing into that, that role a little bit, well, a little bit coming off a year like last year too. You almost crave the calm, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I think that's, that's perfect. Um, for me, it's just being like more appreciative of, the people closest to me focusing on like, yeah, you know, the, the good they bring into my life. A lot of times, like I, I'm a positive person, but I am not a patient person. So sometimes with Clayton, it's just like, I, I need to be <laughs> a little more patient, I think. Yeah. So if I'm sure. being honest, like that's, that's where I'm at. Like I want to be more empathetic and, and more appreciative with the people closest to me. Um, mm -hmm. I think that'll just, you know, keep our relationship strong. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. So um, I, I know we're already like wrapping up on time already. It's so crazy that it's yeah. flying through, but I want to, I want to keep navigating some of these a little bit. Um, I know you deal obviously with health and, and wellness with your clients and, and in your own life. Do you have personal health and fitness goals for you this year? This year I do. Um, so last year I was saying, you know, I want to continue making fitness a supplement and not a priority because that's been like a very OCD, you know, priority in my life um, from swimming and, and that being my full-time job to trying to 
figure out what a good balance is and, and make it healthy instead of, mm-hmm. you know, an addiction essentially. Um, yeah. and I definitely have maintained that. Um, and I'll, I'll plug the guys from mind pump. Um, it's um, <laughs> mind pump raw fitness truth. They talk all things health and fitness and they stay up to date on their research and they have their own programs. And I've been, you know, I've, I've bought almost all their programs and, and those are the ones that I do. And I do versions of those for my clients as well. Um, so this year with the wedding coming up, uh, I mean, I, I hate to be like such a basic bitch, but I'm sweating <laughs> for the wedding. And <laughs> I've got all the programs like, cause they're usually like three to four month programs. So I've got them lined up, like how I'm going to do them in order. Um, so it's more regimented this year than it, it has been in the last few years, but I'm excited for that just to kind of like see where it takes me, you know? And yeah. Um, Last year, I wanted to do a mobility, mobility every day, um, and I have stuck with that, and I make my clients do that every time they work out with me, and that's been a game changer for all of us. Um, th- this year, um, I, Clayton got us a Juve, so it's red light therapy. So um, if you look at their website, it's J-O-O-V-V. Um, the red light is supposed to help the mitochondria and I'm going to nerd out, but um, <laughs> do it in the cells. Like that's your powerhouse. It helps the, it create energy okay, faster. So essentially it's like good for healing after a workout. It's good for skin. It's, it's been shown to be good for eyesight and it's all backed by science. Um, so I'm going to try and be consistent with that. Um, do my Wim Hof breathing. And I have wear the pants on my <laughs> goal list. And it's not like wear the pants in the relationship. It's like, I have, we talked about it actually on the goals last year episode. I have a drawer filled with probably 50 yoga pants and I'm not proud of it. (laughs) And I wear seven of them. Seven. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, you need to wear these pants. That's That's amazing. I like that. That's really cool. I've been doing it. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Talk to me about your personal health and fitness goals. Um, so like I kind of mentioned it earlier, I had some some health issues come up last year. All is good. I'm very thankful. Um, I am getting it all under control. I, I was finally put in, into the right path with the right doctors for me, and, and they're really helping me navigate this. Um, so this year is all about getting my hormone levels right, my thyroid working for me, not against me and attacking my body. Um, and it's just about enjoying and I know for me to feel healthy I have to have a good spiritual practice I have to have creative outlet I have to you know have that movement like we talked about and I've really been laying the course out or laying the foundation I guess out for me over the past year really uh of finding what works and what doesn't and what's sustainable for me and but when it's not just checking a box but also being like held accountable to what I want out of my life. And I know that for me, it's like a three times a week workout. And yep. so I really want to stick and to that. And that's most people, by the way, just to yeah. Like people don't yeah. be working out six days a week. And I'm learning that through a lot of the conversations that we're having. And, and obviously from you pouring in your knowledge in, into our conversations around here too, and staying in front of me on that. So thank you for that, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I think it's really just sticking to that plan and just knowing that when that gets out of whack, everything else does. And if my intention for the year is for that to be the focus, like those are non-negotiables, like everything else is going to have to go by the wayside. And I'm really excited to just stick with that because I know how good I feel and I know how much more um, I'm able to give to other people. And at the end of the day, that's really all I want to be able to do. So yeah. Oh, that's That's great. That's my goal. So to speak, so to speak, I want to talk a little bit about our work and profession um, goals here at HTC. Uh, We had so many last year. We hit so many, we had things come out of the woodwork that we didn't even know were goals (laughs) that we, that we tackled. Um, for me this year, it's all about kind of working that plan again that we, we set the foundation for at HTC. We know now what we want to do, how to do it efficiently, the, the best ways we can divide and conquer and, and really do some good work. Um, and, and for me, my main goal with HTC this year is to, to just continue to build out that website. There's so many fun mm-hmm. things that we have talked about and want to do and bring the community in. So guys, please go over there and subscribe to it so that we can get you involved <laughs> that's HTC all i can say right now htcpod.com it's a looker. Yeah. She's yeah oh well thank you we both have 
So well, how about you? Uh, mine's definitely um, going back to my word for the year, going back to enjoy. Um, I yeah. do the audio editing and my OCD just runs wild. And it, <laughs> it could be a great thing because I need an outlet for that. But I mean, it can take over. So um, yeah. I want to make sure I'm having fun and, um, you know, ideally spending time on what really matters. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. And who's to say what perfect is? My OCD brain is telling me what perfect is. So um, I want to just chill out. And you know, they're still going to sound great, guys. But um, I'm just not going to, you know, pour my soul <laughs> Into, into it, it. yeah. As she's she's hours. coming off of a nine hour edit, y'all. Yeah. The conversation was seventy five minutes, and it's turned into a nine hour edit. That's yeah. what happens sometimes. But we we want to do our best work and, and make it enjoyable for everybody. And you put in so much time and effort and energy, and well, I can't I thank you enough. It. I know you do. It's my own mind working against me and making it this huge task that it really doesn't need to be at all. Um, and I want to uh, prep for, but enjoy and be present in the interviews. Um, mm -hmm. instead of, well, I call them interviews, they're episodes, they're conversations. They're conversations. So, yes, yeah, exactly. But I, I want to prep and I want to be ready and I want to have a list of 20 questions in case the, you know, the conversation dies down and it's just too much. So I need to it relax is. and be present. And, and Cal and I were talking about it a couple of weeks back. Like if you do have a list of questions in front of you and you're like, Ooh, what am I going to ask net? What am I going to ask next? Um, this person's talking to you and you're not all there. You're not present. You're not with them. Yeah, it steals from just, the present moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's not a conversation. That's not the energy that I want to bring. So I want to prep and know who the person is, what they're all about. Of course. It's why we agree to let them come in and have the conversation. You know, exactly. we, we believe in what they're doing. So yeah, yeah it's been fun to come back and, and I think people will be able to, experience the conversation in a different way too because that is kind of how we're going into it we're just having fun again and mm -hmm. it's been fun <laughs> it's been really fun it feels lately. different it's a it different does. feeling and that's what like literally the first conversation that I had with Kella about coming on this she's like if we're not having fun we're not doing it and mm -hmm. so like just going back to like that is our foundation um we're still going to put in hard work we're still going to, you know, put content out there and have great conversations, but back to fun, like back to why we started this. If it's not fun, like why, why are we, we're not helping anybody, anything? you know, but, we're not, we're not, we're not going to, yeah, yeah, we could feel it, you know? Well, I think we and, thought we were being like low key, but we were talking about burnout every week. <laughs> I know it was just, it was up there. It was up there. We yeah. were just going and, and you see it in other people too. And, and we're not unique in that we're all working so hard to get, to some things, but we're not stopping to enjoy kind of the everyday stuff. And that's really what it's about because mm -hmm. as soon as we reach that goal, and I believe we talked about this with Erica maybe, or maybe it was Chad, but as soon as we reach it, we're already looking for the next thing and we're not stopping Chad. to really yeah, celebrate. Else, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it was very prevalent. It, it, it's in these um, conversations. It's in and, the air. <laughs> yeah. It's in the air for sure. For sure. Um, as, as far as other stuff, I'm just really excited to be updating a lot of my artwork too and, and putting it out there to just see what people think of it. I've, I've yeah. held on to it for so long and not shared it. And I really feel like just go for it, girl. Well, what's the name <laughs> so, of the, the technology you're using now? So I just use my Apple Pencil and Procreate. We talked a lot about it with, with, um, Maddie from, yeah. uh, Tailgate Pups. So that's what she uses? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, I was like, I've wanted it. I've, I've literally told myself year after year. It's like when I finally decide to like invest in this and do it, I can start bringing my drawings and stuff to life in a way that I've always wanted them to. And, and now that I'm doing that, I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Like I, I you are. it's, it's ridiculous though. Cause I'm like, I've lost you to the Apple pencil. Yeah. He's like, come back to me. Oh, <laughs> you know, like my evenings are that, but I, I really enjoy it. Can I ask it's a outlet. It's, So it's, it's like an app on an iPad and then you have yes. your Apple pencil. Yes. That's all it is. Okay. Yes. That, I yeah. thought it was a specific like device. Like, you know how they have those like no. notebooks and stuff. Okay. Okay. I get nope. it. No, it's so anyone awesome. can do it. Anyone should do it. If you are love to draw, you love to paint, you love to create. I'm like, interested for sure. It's, it's the best. I'm, yeah. I'm having so much fun with it. Less Can't mess too easy to erase. Yeah. I think I told you, I was like, I feel like I'm painting, but I haven't moved from my couch in four hours. That's, <laughs> so. amazing. That's, that's the goal. Turn on music and just let it out. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. yeah. Well, let's move on. Um, just yeah. enough time to get know through we everything. Um, finances and purchases goals. Yeah, for the house. I mean, we did so much last year to our house just yeah. from moving in to, to building out some of the dreams that we had for it. So we're going to continue. The next big project is kind of fencing our property, mm -hmm. putting the retaining wall in around uh, the, the gym so it doesn't, our hard work doesn't get, you know, washed away, yeah. <laughs> essentially. <laughs> and then and then I would really like to um, to do some gardens. I'm not a green thumb by any means, but I follow some great accounts, and we've got some good people in this community that, that can help. You can't say that. But uh, it's, it's, it's a joy. It's, it's just it's, animal noises. Though. Yeah. That's me glitching out because it is not something that I'm good at, but I do enjoy it. It's, it's fun when I can make something come back to life. That's always a well, that's a why good, I'm in the middle thing. of doing that with my poor avocado tree. I, I've been keeping him inside because he's not supposed to be out for the winter, but he needs six hours of sun, and I have no windows that will do that for him. So he lost all his leaves, and he's just a stick now. Oh, and, poor um, guy. Yeah, so we're, we're, we'll are we see if I can bring him back to life. If I do, I'll see Take him to my mom. She's the miracle worker. She, She's, she brings back plants from, like, five years ago. Like, they just don't die. I don't get it. They come back stronger than ever, which is such a metaphor for my mother. Magic so if you're listening, you you are the magic. She is the magic. Uh, magic how about for you? I know it's probably wedding stuff, yeah? It is all wedding-focused, prioritizing, saving for the wedding. Um, and I... I saw this actually, my friend Tina, she is just one of the most like financially savvy. You speak so well of her. Adults. Yeah. Yeah. She's in her twenties and she just, she's just so responsible. She's got a good head on her shoulders. <laughs> That's and awesome. So, um, go Tina. Yeah. Go Tina. And, um, I saw she, she posted a story about, um, kind of going through goals with her friends on this whiteboard. And one of them that I loved was, um, one day a week of no spending. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. it's like, you're about to run out of gas, like, you can make exceptions, but it's yeah. like the optional stuff, like scrolling through Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to try, because I'm ridiculous, I'm going to try two days a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesdays are no spending, so you guys can hold me accountable. Um, I like it. I, uh, I just, I'm curious to see if it makes an impact on my bank account at all, because I know it's easy to be like, okay, well, I'll make a list of things I'll buy on Tuesday then. Um, but that's not the point. I, I just want to yeah. see if, if I can do it. It's kind of a fun challenge. And uh see if it helps with saving at all. Um, so awesome. And then I, so I read this book last year. Um, I, we talked about it a little bit. I will teach you to be rich. It was actually Tina's brother that recommended it to her. Yeah. She recommended it to me. Um, it has some amazing, amazing uh, information in there. And one of them that I loved, and I can't believe I hadn't been doing this or hadn't thought of it. Um, but they, he tells you to auto do auto pay for, um, putting money into your savings and into your 1000%. Yes. 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 Always, I'm always like conscious of just like, okay, save, put this aside and then put it into my savings or my IRA or whatever. Um, so now I've got them auto drafting and I don't even have to think about it. And I feel so like, you don't have to worry about like, it, should I be spending money on this? Like always contemplate it, but like that you're prioritizing putting money into your savings and into your retirement. So the money that's left over can be spent guilt-free on what you really want to prioritize. And yeah. that feeling of like no buyer's remorse is that's wealth, so babe. amazing. I know it's the best. Everyone I'm deserves like, that oh. feeling. Everyone deserves that feeling and it can be done. And there's really cool books and, and people out there to help you get it for sure. Yeah. yeah so I love that. And, and that's really all I have for my financial goals. Just save, save, save for that wedding. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. So let's, uh, so finance is boo, even though wealth yeah. is great. But <laughs> what are you doing for, for fun this year? And what are some of your goals that you want to accomplish just for yourself outside of kind of the, the big umbrella categories? Well, I still, so fun. <laughs> I didn't Come on, enjoy, that. enjoy. I didn't even <laughs> read that word on this part of the, I was like, okay, travel hobbies, got it. Um, for, uh, I, I have saved for the wedding under this too. I, <laughs> I mean, it's prevalent. That's yeah, what's at the top of your life. Honeymoon. We want to go to Costa Rica. Um, yeah. So that's really the only trip that, well, I'm excited because with Clayton's new job, he's going to be traveling a lot and I can kind of like join him for some of the trips. So in yeah. February, we're going to go to New Orleans. I've never been. I'm really excited just for like a couple days and, and check it out. Um, so that will be fun. And other than that, really just uh, the wedding and the honeymoon. And I've had a couple friends and clients 
go to Costa Rica and, and we're excited because it's got a rainforest in the middle of it and it's beachy. So uh, we kind of want to hop around and do like some just relaxing beach days and some adventure rainforest days and go zip lining. And that's and a place I've always wanted to go to as really? well. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I dream of going the there. When we're done. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to let us know how it goes, how it goes for sure. Yeah. That's really all for travel. Um, I still am for, I guess this went under leisure. Um, I'm, I still put a, a number of books that I want to read. I, put it down a little bit. So I'm going to do 15 to 18. Um, I just need a number or I'll just be like, okay, I don't have to read. I'll just watch Selling Sunset for the next four hours. So, so I need to do that for myself. My sanity. Yeah. Um, I have less social media. Um, I finally got the courage to look at my screen time. Um, so I'm going to try How to did that go? Down. Um, it was less than I thought. I don't know if That's four great. hours a day is a lot or a little. Um, relative to everyone else. But for me, I thought it was way more because I feel like I'm just constantly on my phone. Yeah. Um, so I want to cut that down, especially for like Instagram and stuff that I know isn't, it's not serving me in any way. I'm just trying to fill up a void of time, you know? Yeah. So pick up those books instead. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. our paintbrushes, which both of us said we wanted to do last year and we didn't, didn't do, do. I we didn't do it. it. I didn't write I a did. book either. <laughs> Hey, you're on your way. The more you write, the closer you I are. say that I'm looking at chapters that are up on, on a board over here, but um, I, I actually went on to our HTC thing under our about us and I removed aspiring writer from my bio um, oh, yeah. because I, it's not on my goals this year. Mm. It's, it's something I'm actively working to. It's definitely something that I want to do. I've known I've had pressure then I don't need the pressure and I just needed it to go away uh, for a little bit. And it's, it's, I say that and then I wrote this week, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I just need to just be intentional with what I want out of life, but I don't want the deadline of it needs to be accomplished by this date because That's it's never served you. It's not, it does not serve me. Mm -mm. Don't tell me to I do something because it. then I'm just not going to do it. But yeah. if you, you know, leave it open, then I can get a lot done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm learning yeah. about myself. Yeah. It's only taken this long. It's only so taken we this have long. a lot of similarities, but we are completely opposite in that, in terms of that. I need a date and I'll obsess about the date until I have it done. And then I'll wait till three days before the date and then I'll <laughs> make sure it's, it's ready and ready to go. Um, if I just say like, if I leave it open ended, I'll be like, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, problem. Not today. Yeah. No, I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. No. Well, friend, this was fun. This was I'm going to, I'm going to continue, uh, just, you know, plugging away at my 52 weeks. We talked about it on the, um, holiday episode this year. It's a, it's a cool book that I'm working through with my friend Jen for my creativity. I really enjoy it. And I'm also oh, continuing, still doing, still doing it, still wow. going. It's home decor this week. So we're like decorating home decor. <laughs> um, and, oh, and, uh, Oh, hi. And I'm also keeping up with my Spanish. So I actually accomplished 190 days uh, as of today, this morning. So oh I'm getting God. that done. I'm really happy. Um, I'm, I'm, I love it so much. I wake my kids up in Spanish. They hate me. I'm screaming at everyone in Spanish around here. They are over it, but whatever. Um, oh it's fun God. for me. And my goal is to just do a solid year without missing a day. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. So no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> never never so. pressure. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, so, thanks so much. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say next week we have um, Dr. Mitchell Yass on um, his episode airs. He is a physical therapist, but he has his own method on dealing with pain. He is extremely passionate about it um, to the point where I had to edit his audio volume down a little bit to make it, for, you know, more listenable for people. But the passion is there. Um, he is a super smart guy and I'm excited to hear what people think about his take on pain and um, he basically says chronic pain is bullshit pain is a signal from our body it needs to be stopped and, and there's a reason for it and yeah. if you have chronic pain you've been misdiagnosed and you'll hear him say that over and over and, and I believe it's the truth in most cases he doesn't you know address cancer and stuff like that it's more joint joint and muscle pain uh, focus but um, that's our episode coming out on Monday, and 
just wanted to prepare everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. So if you're curious about him, you can go to, you can Google like the YAS method, Y-A-S-S, that's his last name, um, or go to HTC Pod on Monday. It'll all be there for you to listen, watch, and, and get connected to him. So um, it's going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. We're grateful for our time this morning, guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, and I hope you. you guys all have a great rest of the week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to join in on the conversation, we invite you to come be a part of the HDC community. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram by searching at Have the Convo. For information on all of our shows, guests, and more, visit htcpod.com. While you're there, be sure to hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. Talk soon.